In this video, we're going to go over how you can customize document type classifications used when uploading files to a patient's medical record. When working in a patient's medical record, you have the ability to upload files to it. From Medical Record Quick Links, you would click on the option Document. And by default, the document type classification is always set to journal, but you can be a little bit more specific in your classification of what you're wanting to upload by specifying it's a radiograph, specialist report, or medical image. And this list of classifications is customizable. Choose the appropriate one, and in your name field, what the description is of this file you happen to be uploading. And then down below, click here to either browse for the files that you're wanting to upload on your computer or your device, or if you already have a folder open on your computer screen, you can then just drag and drop it into there and save. And once a file has been uploaded to a patient's medical record, you'll be able to see that entry, click on the little view button, and open it up from any computer within that practice that is viewing this patient's record. Another nice thing about when you are uploading your files to a patient's medical records and giving those specific classifications of the document type selection is when you look at an alternative view of a patient's medical record called View by Groups. Those different classifications that you have available or those document types are now separated out so I could take a look at all of my medical record images that I have uploaded all side by side. So in this example, I can take a look at how this iCyst appeared back in September of 2016, progressively how it looked in January, and then how it looks today all side by side with each other. For customizing those lists of document type selections, you'll need to navigate to your gear icon at the top of your screen, click on the document type menu selection under the configuration area, and add in additional document types to appear in your drop down list. So if we needed to add in a new one for ultrasound images, I can type in the name and then hit save and now it becomes available to me for future use.